Okay, well, it's election day, so I don't know what's going to happen yet. Uh, a lot of the news suggests that the Republicans are going to probably pick up uh, a lot of seats. Uh, they may not happen, I don't know. Uh, but if you're a conservative snowflake, here's your trigger warning right now. First of all, here's the first problem that we're going to deal with, is that Dallas, we've got, we've got a, a certain hardcore uh, group of people that will always vote Democratic, and you've got a hardcore group of people that will always vote Republican, uh, uh, no matter what kind of monsters they may be. But then you've got the people that are the undecided, undecided voters. Now, the differences between the parties right now at this point in our history is so stark that anybody who's undecided at this point is the least informed group of people in the country. So our elections will be swung by the least informed voters in the country. Okay? So I am not a big fan of Democrats. Uh, I think most of them are bought and paid for by big business. Um, they don't do anything except things that will benefit big business. They promised they were going to do voting rights after all the problems that we had uh, with Republicans. Uh, no. Extra doing voter no. suppression and stuff like no. that and all the gerrymandering that's been going on. They had bills prepared and they never pushed it. They could have done something on climate change. Climate change is here. It's causing major problems. We had Hurricane Ian, what, about a month ago? Didn't do anything. Although I have my theories that perhaps part of that has to do with the fact that most of the people in charge of our country have no skin in the game. They're all in their 70s and 80s. So what do they care if the earth becomes, you know, barely inhabitable for people in the next 40 to 50 years? They really don't. But my greatest disdain is, save for the Republicans, uh, they've just become absolute monsters. And, you know, I have friends and family members who are like, oh, yes, they're, they're, they're Republicans because, oh, like, well, they'll get me lower taxes or maybe they'll be better on the economy or something like that. They have no solutions. Um, so all the Republicans on my ballot, I won't vote for them because if you want to call yourself a Republican and you're an average voter, and you're one of these people that's terribly uninformed, then, uh, you know, go ahead and do that. But if you can actually associate yourself with that party, knowing what they have been doing, to me, that makes no sense. I mean, what we saw on January 6th of 2021 was literally treason. It's an insurrection against the government. They were storming the Capitol building. I mean, you can watch the videos. If you're not watching selected clips off of Fox News or Alex Jones or something like that, you should know what happened. Um, and then oh! they're supporting a guy who stole classified documents. And it's finally, suddenly, that's okay. It's an absolute cult. They're running people for Congress. They're running people for secretaries of state in states all over the country who say, if I get into office and the elections don't go the way that I want them to go, then I will do what I can to change the results. That's not democracy. That's people that hate the principles that this country is supposed to stand for. So, and then there's the culture wars, right? Oh, yeah, because we're talking about institutional 
can't have children learning about institutional racism in this country. We can't have people knowing that you know LGBT people actually exist. So let's ban any books that might teach them about that because we want to teach our children propaganda. Um, and then they're going to say, oh, well, you know, inflation or, you know, the economy and stuff like that. Really? What are their solutions? Do they have solutions? No, they never have solutions. Their solutions are, we're going to give tax cuts to the rich. We're going to break everything we possibly can in the way the government runs. And then we're going to come out and say, well, the government can't do anything right. We need to get government off our backs, right? So they got nothing. And they're just the party of fascism now. So if you don't like it, tough luck. And, and the other thing is, if you're voting in a state and you're voting in a state right now that the lines are too long at the polls or they don't allow mail-in voting or anything else that makes it difficult for you to vote, you need to vote these people out. I live in California. I filled out my ballot at home that was mailed to me as it's mailed to every uh, citizen of California that's a registered voter. I dropped it in a drop box at the local library. And uh, there's probably at least two or three drop boxes within a two mile radius of my house. And I got a confirmation email saying the next day, saying that my vote had been accepted and counted. That's the way it should be. We should be making it as easy ah! as possible to for people to vote in this country and any officials ah! that are trying to make it harder for people, they should be gone because they don't believe in democracy. Ah! And if there's anybody that sees this, that it bothers you, well, too bad, truth hurts. All right? Ah! Well, that's all I have for today. That's my little rant, okay? Have a good day.